Hey guys, welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'm going to create a similar web banner using this hotel banner that I saw online. There are three sets of text and simple transitions. Let me play it. It's about nine seconds long and my screen capture is pretty big but it's actually a 300 by 250 banner. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's begin. So let's open Google Web Designer and create a new file. Create a file name. Dimension of 300 by 250. Animation mode, advanced. Click OK. I'm just gonna shrink this a bit so we can compare what we have. First thing we want to do is drag the background pick, set the left position to 0, and the top to 3. I'm going to name this layer. Now let's drag our hotel picture, and set it to the same position, 0 and 3. I'm also going to name this. Now let's drag the logo. Put it on the left. Set the position to 1 and to 21. Now let's drag another element. Position at 186 and 221. Now let's create the first set of text. Select the text tool, click on the web banner, first one is book, set it as white, size to 30, and we have a list of fonts here, but we can load more fonts by clicking more fonts. We're going to use the Laura font, select it, and click OK. Let's type the second one, stay, and the third one, called repeat. Now let's align all these texts. Put the position to 25 in the first one. And let's make sure it's in the middle of the container. Select align to container, transform control, and horizontal align. Let's do the same thing for stay. Put the position on this to 75 and repeat to 125. I'm just gonna hide these three texts so we can work on the second set of texts. So just click these check boxes. So now let's create the second set of text. Select the text tool and type in, then get enough points to redeem for a free night. Change it to white, same size font, 30. Select the web font, which is Laura. And let's drag this inside our banner, put the position to 25. I'm going to make sure it's centered and center aligned. Now I'm going to hide these texts so we can create the third set of text. Select the text tool. Let's type our text. We'll make sure it's center aligned. Size 25. Make sure it's white font and the usual web font, which is Laura. We're just going to make sure it's horizontally centered. We'll set the position on this at 20. I'm going to adjust the third line and set the font size to 20. 
Okay, so now let's create our button. Click and hold the pen tool and change it to rectangle tool. Let's set the curve to 10 and no outline and a white fill. We're going to draw it right under that text about this size. So now let's put that text on it that says book now. We're going to adjust the size to 15 and we're going to put the color to this color. I'm going to align it, make sure it's horizontally centered. I'm going to center it inside that box. I'm going to use my arrow keys. So now I'm going to create the last text on the bottom, which is terms and conditions apply. Change the color in this to black and make the font smaller. Adjust it again to horizontally centered. And I'm going to use my arrow keys again to push it up. Now that we have all our assets, let's do the animations. Let's hide the last set of assets. And then unhide the first set of assets. We'll start the animation here. I'm also going to name these two images because I'm not sure which one's which. So this one's the logo and this is the color blocks. We'll create the animation here by creating a keyframe on 2 seconds and then another one on 2.5 seconds. Now select the 2 second keyframe and change the opacity to 0. Now right click on the keyframes, select step N. So now let's animate the uh, words here. Let's go to 3 seconds and create a keyframe. Create another keyframe on 3.5 seconds and then on 4 seconds and then create another 4 seconds keyframe there and a 4.5 seconds. So I created this so that each word appears one by one. So now select the 3 second keyframe under book and let's change the position to minus 76. Let's do the same thing for 3.5 seconds for stay set it to negative 67 and do the same thing for repeat which is negative 110. Now right click in between these keyframes and select ease in. Do the same for stay and for repeat. Now let's go to zero second keyframe press command and select each keyframe and right click remove keyframes. Now go to 5 seconds and create a keyframe there for each of the text. And then create another keyframe on 5.5 seconds for each line. I'm just going to adjust my window here. For the final animation for these texts, we're going to make it disappear to the right. Select each of the 5.5 second keyframe and put the position to 300. This is how it's going to look. I'm going to compare it with my screen capture. Notice the shadow on the text. So we can do that with Google Web Designer. There's no quick option. What we have to do is go to code view and add text shadow on the CSS. So look for the P tag and add text shadow with the color black and two pixels. Now go back to the sign view. Let's play this and see how it looks. Now we have a shadow on these three texts. Now let's set the animation for the hotel. Scroll down. Create a keyframe on 5 seconds and same thing for 5.5 seconds. Select the 5.5 seconds and change the opacity to 0. See how it looks? 
Now it looks like the hotel is disappearing and we have the second background that appears. So now let's set the animation of the second set of text. Let's unhide this and create a keyframe on 5 seconds and another keyframe around 5.7 seconds. Select the 5 second mark. This is confusing me a little bit so what I'll do is I'll hide the first three texts that we worked on. Now set the position to minus 237 and right click in between the keyframes and select ease in. Now let's go to zero second and remove keyframes. Now go to 7.5 seconds, create keyframes there, and add another one under 8 seconds. Let's change the position on this to 300, so it swipes to the right, and the width to 240. For some reason, when you put a text to the right, it always shrinks it. I don't know if it's a glitch with Google Web Designer, so I usually adjust the width. Now we don't need a shadow for this set of text, so what I'll do is change it to span as opposed to the P tag. Now let's set the animation for the third set of text. Let's hide this text and unhide the last one. Let's change the tag on this to span also because we don't need the shadow. And now let's create a keyframe for each of the layer under 8.5 seconds. Let's also create a keyframe under 9 seconds. We're going to make them all come in at the same time. Now select the 8.5 seconds of this layer and we're going to make it start from the left. So what I'll do is just use my arrow keys for it to go to the left. Now go to properties. Let's also change the opacity on this to zero. This is how it's going to look. So now select the 8.5 seconds keyframe of the button. Let's select these two layers, the button and the word that says book now. I'll set the position and use my down arrow key and change the opacity to zero. Now let's do the same thing for the last text. Select the 8.5 second keyframe, use the down arrow key and change the opacity to zero. Now right click in between these keyframes and change the easing option to ease in. Now go to zero second keyframe and remove all these keyframes. I'm just going to check if I got all my animations correct. That looks about right. So now let's do a preview. So the last thing we want to do is add a tap area so when someone clicks on book now it goes to a website so go to components select tap area i just want to see my button drag it there i'm going to make this tap area big so it works on mobile phones Right click, add event, tap area, touch click, Google ad, exit ad, metric ID, whatever you want. And this is where you want to put the website. Click OK. Let's do another preview.
Let's compare it. Alright, that's all good. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you learned something here. Leave a comment and say hi or just give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.